hi guys today in this video we will learn how to handle file upload in a modern stack app so for that we are going to build a basic a small gallery app so as you can see this is the gallery app the front end is done on react and back end is done on node and if you click on this plus icon it's gonna open file picker so here we go and now we can select this any image you want like say i want to select this image and then this is here now this is uploaded in the mongodb database as well i will show you in a second so here it is as you can see and if we will visit the mongodb database as you can see currently it has three collection but if i will refresh it will say four collection four documents sorry not collection yeah four documents so this is what going on in the backend whenever we select a file it's automatically upload that file name into the mongodb and then we fetch it and display it on to our front end so this is how this app is working i hope you guys are excited so let's get started okay so to get started we will first create a new folder called uh, photo gallery yt okay inside this folder i'm going to create a new folder called backend backend and inside this folder photo gallery folder i'm going to open my cmd and inside this i will write npx create react app front end okay so this will create a react app for us and we can work in the backend in the meantime so inside this this folder i'm going to open my vs code inside this folder so to do that i can just right click on this and select open with vs code or you can just open the terminal and type code dots to open vs code inside this folder so i'm going to open this way so my vs code is here with backend and frontend folder yes i trust okay so this is it let's zoom in okay so inside this backend folder i'm going to open first of all i'm going to open terminal and then i'm going to go split this terminal into two part okay first one will be front end so i will do cd front end and second one will be back end cd back end okay i'll make it smaller okay inside this back end one i'm going to do npm init hyphen dash y this will create an empty packet.json file for us not empty but default packet.json file for us and we are going to create a server.js file server.js and inside this packet.json change this to server.js and we will write a script dev script so we will do dev and we will do node mon server.js okay for this to work you have to install the nodemon first if you don't have the nodemon you can just write just do this way npm i hyphen g for global and then install nodemon this will install nodemon for us global in global uh, scope so that we can use it in any product any project we want okay so i will do npm run dev this will open up the development server okay so in server.js we are going to just first close this and clear it and we are going to install a couple of dependencies first of all npm i for install express then we need dot env 
we need mongoose yeah these three for now later we will install if we need anything else so let it install first and let's see if our react app is ready yeah our react app is ready we can close this terminal now we will create our backend api first and then we will work on the front end so we have this so first of all let's start writing some code in the server.js so let's do const express equals require express we also need one more package called course so let's do npm i course for cross origin resources okay it's installed now we can do npm i npm run dev okay let's do course equals require course and then we will be needing mongoose we require mongoose and then we will require dot env so require dot env dot config and evoke it okay now we will do const app equals express and evoke it now we can do const not const app dot listen we will be listening to a specific port so we need a port for that let's do const port equals to process dot env dot port and then we can pass this port here and a callback function which will log server started at port then it will log the actual port and we can say if we don't have any port in the env then use 5000 so you can see server started at 5000 it means it's working let's create a get handle a get request on our home page and then rec and res and i will just do res dot send hi there let's see if it's working if we will visit localhost 5000 5000 yeah hi there it's working so our server is actually working so let's connect to mongodb database first of all so let's go to mongodb.com and then sign in with your account i will use google to sign in and here is my cluster i will do connect and i will select connect to your application and i will copy this string and i will go inside the vs code and inside this backend folder i will create a new file called env.env okay inside this i will write mongo 
u r i equals i'll paste the string and here we have to provide the password and after this what we have to provide the uh, before this word i mean we have to provide the database name okay in my case it will look like this so this is my username and this is my password mongodb password okay so here we go and then this is the database name photo gallery okay so i will just save this and i will go back here and i will remove this listener after this port thingy i will go and call mongoose dot connect connect is a method which is used to connect to our database so we will get process dot env dot mongo uri okay and then we will pass a callback function and we will log something like mongo db connected okay something like this let's test this out it started at 5000 and then mongodb connected so our mongodb is connection is also working so now let's do and before proceeding further let's use some middlewares so app dot use first of all we will use cores okay then we will use express dot json and evoke it then we will statically uh, then we will statically host a public folder so we are going to create a folder called public so let's go and create this folder first public and inside this public we will create a folder upload uploads and inside this folder we are going to get the images which we need to display on our react app so for that we are going to use app.use express.static static and we will pass public now public folder is statically being hosted by the express okay so that's it for the server.js right now so let's uh, create a new folder called routes okay so for handling our routes so let's go routes inside routes we are going to have one route that will be called upload route upload route.js okay so first of all we will do const router we will extract router from the express require express okay then what we can do we can do something like this const router equals router and evoke it okay now we can do router dot post we will handle a post request on slash api slash save okay and we will do rec and res rec res and for now i'll just do res dot send
हैंडलिंग हैंडलिंग पोस्ट रिक्वेस्ट ओके फॉर नॉ लेट्स डू दिस एंड देन इन द बॉटम वी कैन डू मॉड्यूल डॉट एक्सपोर्ट equals router and now we will go back to server.js and inside here we can use app dot use upload route we have to import it as well so we will do const upload route equals require dot slash route slash upload route okay let's see if our if our route is working or not so our route is slash api slash save so we can test it using postman so let's run our postman okay so ap localhost 5000 first of all api slash save it's going to be a post request and we should get handling handling post request yeah we are getting that so our route is working so let's go and handle the images image upload now the real actual image upload so for that we have to install one more library called Mal malter so let's close our terminal and npm i mm. so Let's go and install npm i malter and install it in our backend. Okay, this is done. We also need UUID, so for that we are going to install npm i UUID. okay so uuid and malter is here so now we can proceed further so inside this save we will first create a middleware for saving our image okay so let's go and create a folder called middleware middlewares okay inside this middleware we are going to create malter middleware malter middleware dot js and inside this malter middleware we will be having const malter equals require malter okay then we will do const require uuid okay then we will do let const path equal require it is a core module of node.js it's not a third party module path okay 
so let's go here and declare a variable called const storage equals malter dot disk storage and this will accept a object and first key will be destination and inside destination we will be having a function with request file and callback as a argument and this function will call callback with null as a request uh, no not not as a request with null and then we will be having a path of path where we want to upload our file so in our case it will be public and uploads okay so now we will go down and give a comma here and give another key this time file name and it will also contain a function okay with same argument rec file and callback this will also call callback with null and then we will be having some template string uuid before evoke it and then we can attach wait a minute after this yeah then we can take path variable which we have declared dot ext name and inside this file name file dot original name okay and this should be okay for now so this is our storage function and then we can create a filter function so let's do const filter file filter file filter equals rec file callback and it will do cons allow dead files file types equals to it will be an array and image slash jpeg jpeg and image slash jpg and image slash png so these are the format we are going to support for now and we can check here if allowed file types dot includes file dot mem type okay if this is allowed file type is here then we can go with our callback with null as well as true and if it is not the case then we can do else callback null false okay and then we can do here is what we can do const upload middleware equals malter and then we will pass storage and file filter function and then we will export this Mold, upload middleware so we can do module dot export upload middleware so something like this 
so this middleware will uh, be able to handle the files for us and if, we, if it is in the correct file format it's going to save in inside this public inside this upload folder and if it's not in the correct file format it's going to throw an error okay so let's go back to the server.js and not on the server.js let's go back to the upload route.js okay so upload route inside this api slash save we are going to do some stuff first of all we are going to apply our middleware so we will do upload upload middleware and it's going to be auto imported for us from middleware slash multi middleware okay so inside here this we are going to call a method called single we are handling single file upload and we will write a comma here and then we will write photo okay here you have to write the field name which you are going to send from the front end we are going to send the photo so that's why i have written photo here okay so let's clear this out for now and do const photo equals request dot file dot file name okay and we can log this this photo if we want so let's go and log this photo Ouch. okay we can log this and then we need to create a schema for uploading our photo to the um, mongodb database so let's go and create a schema for that we need to create a folder called models so let's go create a folder models okay inside this model we are going to create upload model so let's go and quickly create upload model dot js okay inside this we will do const mongoose we will require mongoose first mongoose equals require require mongoose and then we will do const upload schema equals to new mongoose dot schema okay and this is going to accept uh, object and this object is going to tell what the field name should be so field name is photo in our case and its type should be defined here it's it is a type of a string so I will write a string and required required to true it's the required field if someone will send a blank field from the front end then it's going to throw an error okay and after this object we are going to do a comma and then we are going to say open on object and we are going to say timestamp timestamps and then we are going to say true we will also be recording the timestamp of the file created and file deleted a file updated okay so that we can sort it from the file uh, up created so that we can show the latest file uh, at the top okay so now we can do module dot export okay mongoose dot model and we can write upload you have to write in the singular here it will automatically convert to the plural okay so this is our schema so let's go back to the upload route again 
and now we can use our schema so now we can write upload upload model okay dot create and it's going to take an object object will hold photo if key and value are same then we can just write it once we don't have to write it like this photo colon photo not like this we are going just going to write single time okay so after that we can do dot then we will get data and we can open like this and we can do log uploaded successfully and then we can log this data and data as and we can send res dot send using res dot send to the front end this data okay and again we can go here and then dot catch we can catch any error if if it's if there's is if there is an error so let's do something like this then we can just log log the error okay so now our post function will look something like this looking great awesome now let's do some work in the front end so in the front end we have actually we also have to create a get api so that we can get our all our photos from there so we can just do router router dot get we will handling a get request at uh, route of api uh, slash get okay we will do simple rec and res and we will do cons all all photos equals await um, upload model dot find we will call find method and since it's await we need to declare it as think also okay and now we can do dot sort we are sorting it according to a field which is created at created at and we will be sorting in descending order so we will write descend okay then once this is done then we can do res dot status 200 and then we can call send method and then we can do all photos actually we don't have to do a status we can just directly do send dot send all photos okay so this will be our get api which will fetch the data from mongodb database and it will give us all the photos in descending order so newest photo will come at first okay so this is all i think for our back end and let's go and start coding our front end so i will just close this and then i will just close all here and then i will open our front end folder and let's go and run this server npm start let's see what we have while it's starting let's go and check out inside the pub inside the source 
we don't need app.css we don't need app.test we don't need logo.svg so i'm just going to delete this okay so inside here we can do we can delete this and inside this header we can collapse it and then delete everything from here okay so it's local 3000 is trying to launch let's launch it in our brave browser okay while it's here let's keep let's write hello okay so let's see if it is working yeah our hello is here so let's quickly create uh, our front end app so so first of all we'll create the nav bar so let's go back and create a component folder inside the source components okay inside the component we will be having navbar.js okay and in this i will do rafce to quickly create a navbar component by the way i got this extension so that i can able to do rafc it's called react it's called es7 react yeah it's this one here es7 react redux react native snippets okay so that's why i can able to do rafce type of stuff like this rafce and then enter okay so this is uh, working let's uh, instead of this hello let's take this nav here navbar and render it let's see if it is working or not yeah navbar is here okay and now we will go to the style.css file index.css and i'm going to delete everything and then i will do margin zero padding zero box sizing water box okay this this is it for now let's go to the nav bar again and then inside this nav bar i'm going to remove this div and start with a nav tag i'm going to be a little bit semantic here maintaining the semantic so i will do nav let's go logo next okay so this is looking like this now let's go to the style.css and inside here let's go do font family and i'm going to set poppins font and if poppin font is not installed in your system you have to use uh, google font and you have to include the link uh, at, at the rate import link here at the top of the css okay so in my system poppin font is there so it's going to work okay so let's go select this nav and then background color will be let's take this blue violet and let's pick this color okay let's copy this for the future use let's go color okay then padding one rem five rem from left and right and then dot nav underscore logo letter spacing one pixel and font size 20 pixel okay let's see how our nav is looking okay looking good we forget to write the nav bar uh, text so the text will be so the text will be photo 
gallery app let's see if it is working now yeah photo gallery app this is our number this is working next we have to create a button plus button at the bottom so that we can just click on it and upload our photos so let's go back again and let's go create a button component and I will again quickly do RAFCE to create my functional component mm, inside this button we will be using icon so for that we are using react icon library so let's close this terminal for now and let's go to react icons so react icons and we are going to copy this one here and we are going to go back and do and do paste here and install react icon okay in our front end then we will search for a plus icon and i'm going to use this this one so i click on it and it's copied so it's copied so let's do import from react icons forward slash since it's starting with ai so we will do ai it's going to be coming from ai folder okay so it's here mm, let's save and let's do npm start again to run our server okay our server is running let's do and then take a label we will go and take a label and we will give it a class name button and inside this label we will be having our icon so ai icon okay good then we will be having an input input of type file input of type uh, file this one okay name will be file picker and id will be file picker and this will be hidden okay now this label is going to be responsible for clicking on this input so we can do something like html4 html4 and then we can say file picker so whenever we click on this label we are actually clicking on this hidden input with file name input okay so let's try to save this and let's see if it is opening our file or not so let's see so where is our we are actually not rendering the component and we are we have not styled yet so let's go to the app.js and then we can do is like button so this should be rendered right now Yeah, our button is here if we will click it then it's opening us the browse window okay so this is working let's style it quickly so let's go to the index.css and i will not waste too much time in styling so i'm just going to copy paste some of the style okay so let's see yeah now our button is here inside the right bottom we have fixed it position fixed and we have given bottom zero and right zero something like that you can see in the css which we have given here okay so this is working now the next thing is to display the images for that we need something called grid or something called a layout type we are going to create a component called grid uh, .js and 
inside here we are what we are going to do is that we will write we will do rafc okay and then we are going to replace with this content and i'm quickly going to tell you what is going on inside here so it's going to accept props called photos photos and this photos will be the array array of uh, all the photos we have okay so in our mongodb if we can see sorry we don't have any data because we have not uploaded any picture yet so let's first create the functionality of uploading photo then we will talk about the functionality of uh, i mean getting the photos okay so let's stop here and we can upload the photo using in our button.js file let's go and create the functionality of uh, uploading the photo actually so let's do some stuff here some clever stuff we will be using a library called axios for sending a request and response it's so let's install npm i axios okay okay let's run our server again so let's import axios import axios from axios and we'll close this browser okay and we will create a function called const handle handle change this will accept event and it will do event dot prevent default okay okay so this handle change will be called on this here on change we can do on change whenever the file picket changes then we are going to call our handle change by passing the event object let's try to save this okay it's formatted in a good way so you guys can see what is going on actually here so so here we can do what is const form data let's take an object equals to new form data and now we can do form data dot append okay and we can attach photo and photo will be coming from event dot target dot files it will be an array we will get the first item of the array okay so then we will do axios we will call axios dot post method for posting a request and request request will be posted to http local host 5000 is our port and then api then save okay request will be posted here with form data as an object okay as a payload then dot then we will get response okay we will first log the response we will log data of the response okay and we will do dot catch okay and we will catch any error and if there's any error 
just log the error okay okay so let's try and hope it works so let's just first run our backend server npm run dev server is running at port 5000 and mongodb connected okay so our backend is running our front end is also running let's try to upload an image so let's click on this plus button and let's click on this coding image just double click and let's see what we get in the console looks like we get nothing here let's see what we get in the console here okay let's try one more time again coding image and we have this object it means the our front end is working and it has uploaded the image and Malter should have also copied the image into the public folder or in, into the upload folder of public so if you will check this public uh, not not this public inside this backend just first close this front end open backend and then go to public and then you can see this picture here so this picture is here it means Malter has uploaded our picture to the uploads directory successfully and let's check our um, mongodb so if we will just go to the browse collection and then we should have a document yeah a document with the photo and the, the name of this photo so this is how it's working so now let's try to fetch this photo from the mongodb and try to display it onto the front end so to do that we are going to go inside the grid component and as i can i said you guys that it is going to receive some props called photos and then it's going to map through the photos and we are going to extract the photo and as well as id we will pass id we will pass key as id okay and uh, then we will uh, in the src of the img tag we will pass the photo it's like this okay so let's try and let's try to provide this photos thingy to the uh, to our gallery so let's just collapse the backend so that we don't get confused okay so let's go to the app and inside here i'm going to call grid okay and we will be using a use effect for that and we will be also be having some states so let's declare our state first const photos set photos equals use state and default value will be empty array okay then we will have use effect and make sure you guys import it from the react uh, my auto import is working so here it is and this will depend dependency array will be empty for now so it's going to work as component did mount uh, means it's just going to execute once per each day uh, once whenever the page is load okay so our use effect is here so let's call axios axios is auto imported for us okay so that's good and we will do dot get request if you guys can remember inside this backend if we can go to routes and upload route we have this api slash get so we will hit this route this time okay so axios.get and we will be getting from this url http colon slash slash local host 5000 slash api slash get 
okay and we will do dot then and we will be having a response and this response will have some data so we can log res dot data and we can do set photos equals to res dot data okay and we can catch if there's an error so we can do catch we can error and we can just log this error okay so and now finally inside this grid we can pass photos as photos so let's see in our if our, our front end is working yeah we can see we have a photo here already which is which was in our database and it's really really huge right now so let's go and copy some styles so that we can make it a little bit smaller and a little bit better okay so let's i'm just going to copy paste some styles okay so let's go to the index.css file and let's paste some style okay so basically we have this grid which is the main container and it, we are going to set it display to grid and then we are going to do grid templates column and then repeat out of it min max 24 rem 1 fr gap 1 fr padding 5 rem padding top 0 okay so and then we have this grid item so we are doing this stuff here we have box border radius then height of 16 in RAM and then we have a box shadow and then for image we are doing with 100% height 100% object fit cover and for font we are doing font size a for h1 we are doing font size 2.4 RAM font weight 600 margin 2 from top and bottom and 5 from left and right okay so this is what we are doing let's save this and let's go back to the again uh, it's looking much better right now so let's try uploading one more photo so if we upload this photo right now next node one so let's do so this photo is uploaded but the our front end is not updated because the photo is uploaded in the back end but front end doesn't know that there's and uh, it needs to re-render its uh, use effect so as you can see this use effect is responsible for getting the photos here uh, as you can see this use effect so it needs to be we need some way so that we can tell this use effect to uh, re-render every time we upload a new photo so if we re, re load this page manually so you guys can see the photo will appear so if i reload this page you can see here is the photo photo is already here so how can we handle this case so we can handle this case pretty easily we can take a, something like a flag or some something so that we can tell our use effect that the yes the ui is updated so we can take const you we can take a state called update ui okay and then set update ui equals use state and then we can set it to empty and this is update okay then we can say that this use effect depends upon this update ui as an dependency array we can just pass this and now what we are going to do is inside our button we are going to pass this set update ui so inside our button we can do something like this then pass set update ui so inside our button we have to also in accept that ui okay so and then we can do what is whenever the file is uploaded or inside this then block we can do set update ui then we can set it to res dot data dot underscore id you can see this id is a field inside this mongodb so we can just set 
trading the value of id to our set update ui it doesn't matter we can also set our uh, photos also but let's for the convenience i'm just going to go with the id okay so let's try uploading one more photo and let's see if our if our app refresh automatically or not so let's try this time let's upload this react.js photo and our ui is automatically updated so this is how we can handle this stuff we can upload one more photo this rose one and this is how awesome it is guys so i hope you guys have learned a lot and i hope you guys have also enjoyed watching this video so thank you so much for watching i will meet you in the next one